Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and today I'm going to talk about Midsummer, which is a huge point of contention within the horror community because you either really seem to like it or you really, really don't. I actually enjoyed this movie. The film centralizes around Danny and her boyfriend Christian. Danny has a lot of stuff going on in general. She has, you know, some emotional things she's dealing with. And unfortunately, her sister is very ill and decides to take her of life while also taking the lives of her parents who are in the house with her. So Danny is just, bam, alone, orphaned in one shot. I have no idea how anyone could deal with this. Literally, like, the worst thing you could imagine, if you care about your family, is just, that's it. You're alone. Even more unfortunate is her boyfriend Christian was, like, inches away from <laughs> breaking up with her at this point, and now feels like he can't because, honestly, even though he should have it would be like the probably the final blow to her and it's just a really unfortunate situation for everyone even more unfortunate he then feels obligated to invite her with uh his friends his friend from sweden pele who's in uh the states going to college with all of them invites them to a festival in his hometown in sweden for midsummer which he then feels obligated to bring Danny because like you can't just leave her alone at this point so it's just like a series of really horrible things leading to more horrible things in Sweden which is beautiful but like oh my god so bad such just like you know when you say things can't get worse and then they do that's like this movie that's essentially this movie up until the end perhaps, depending on how you interpret it. But uh, they all go to Sweden and there is a lot of hallucinogenic drugs used. There's a big celebration for this small community that happens every 90 years. And it's pretty much daylight the entire time, like reverse of what um, 28 Days of Night. It's just forever daytime and beautifulness and sound of music scenery everywhere. So Danny is just having a hard time from like getting on the plane to getting there to witnessing um, a ritual with two older people that, you know, rather than watch themselves decay and crumble, they, they check out in the way that is, you know, the best for them. And that makes her very upset. It upsets a lot of the other outsiders that are there while everyone <clears throat> in the small community is trying to explain to them, like, no, this is like, this is pride for them that they are doing this to help the harvest, to help, you know, the rest of the community. It is their choice. It is something that they're going to be, you know, remembered very fondly for. And it's just to the outside I, it's a very hard thing to understand. They get to witness a lot of different um, customs that they have and Christian as well as one of the other friends decide that they want to do their thesis upon this uh, celebration and eventually get the blessings of the elders in the group that it's okay to do it, just hey don't use anyone's names, don't really give the location where we are but it's fine. Just don't make a big thing about it. Don't out us. Uh, we get to see kind of Christian and Danny pulling apart from each other. They're noticing little things. It's mostly Danny noticing little things about Christian that he's just really forcing it. And it's pretty obvious he does not want to be with her anymore. He forgets her birthday. He can't remember how long they've been together. It's very painful to watch that. As someone that has been in that kind of relationship where it wasn't so much maybe that the other person felt obligated to stay with me, 
as it was maybe they were staying with me because it was convenient, but there was no more feeling in it. I really felt for her and it, you know, made me very emotional, kind of like, hey, I know what you're going through, girl, and that sucks and I'm sorry and things will get better, but it just really sucks right now. So we get to witness all these strange customs. There are definite little hints of things to come. There's a lot of foreshadowing in this movie. It's incredibly atmospheric. It's very trippy. It's very coming back to nature and it's just beautiful. So I'm going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. Um, yeah. What did I like about this movie? It was gorgeous. I felt like the story was great. I felt like just the landscapes were gorgeous. I felt like this, you know, it's, it's a long movie. I'm glad that I watched this in my house so I could pause it every like 20 to 30 minutes because I needed a break or I needed, you know, to get a drink. And because I was so hydrated, you know, I needed breaks. So I never felt that it really drug on. I didn't feel like there was a lot of dead time, which is very rare for me. If it's a very long movie, usually I'm like, well, there could be like 45 minutes that we don't need. But I felt like they really utilized all of the time really, really well. I felt like the acting was very believable. I felt like Danny's reactions to things when she is screaming and just raw guttural emotion, that's exactly what you expect from someone that is just an instant orphan and has no family, nothing, is probably wondering why she's not with them. Why was she not, you know, in the house when this all happened? That survivor guilt, like you, that's exactly what I expected from this actress and she delivered it and I was really happy about it. I liked how disgusting everything was and it really, really was. I think just the different ends of the spectrum with how beautiful things are and then just how grotesque things can be was perfect. Just complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Loved that. I felt like the soundtrack was amazing. I felt like the ending of this movie was incredibly satisfying. So satisfying and a little sad, but it's, it's, you know, it's a horror movie. It's going to be, um, and the gore and the practical effects are just wonderful. What did I dislike about this movie? Um, I mean, some of it was a little weird. But, I mean, it you, you expect that from uh, this filmmaker. So, I wasn't really surprised. Um, some of it was a little predictable. I felt like I got a lot of the Wicker Man from it, and I kind of knew what was going to happen. But I definitely still did enjoy the journey getting there. You know, just because I can see how things are going to fall in the, into place doesn't mean that I'm not going to enjoy watching them fall into place. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else I can say without giving away too much, but, uh, I would probably give this, I would give this a four out of five. I had a really good time watching it. I will watch it again. I will see if the groom will watch it with me. He did watch Hereditary with me in the theater. I don't think he rewatched it with me when I bought it on Prime, but I think he would dig it. Um, we'll see. Time will tell. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? I know that this is, uh, people are very extreme with their opinions. So let me know down below. Be nice. I have feelings. Um, if you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can like the video if you did like the video. You can follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find me, find me, find my solo reviews as well as reviews with the groom on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I'll see you.
See you guys later. Bye.